Uh, I'm feeling very tired at the moment. Um, I need a holiday. Um, this course has been the most intense uh, thing I've ever done. Uh, much more intense than my four year university degree in physics. So I've just about finished week eight of Ronin, which has probably been the most challenging week so far. But I also feel like I wish week eight had been longer because I still have a lot I need to learn. We spent the first few days going over questions just about Angular, how it is, how it works. And then we started working as a group on a project to build an Angular front-end application. Well, to build a front-end application using Angular. Um, this process was definitely more difficult than the other projects we've done so far on the course. Well, this is the second time round I've been doing Angular. Uh, this time I've actually learned how to build a front-end uh, with TDD. Um, using protractor for end-to-end -end testing and karma for unit testing. Uh, this time round, um, I feel much more confident, uh, although I do realise I need a lot more practice, but I'm really positive that I can continue to improve at it. Um, I'm not worried about that at all. We started off with user stories in a mock-up, um, tracked these individual uh, features um, in branches using uh, Waffle, and uh, we continued using agile uh, methodologies and practices. So, um, we, for example, we did uh, stand-ups in our teams, and uh, we did we did uh, pair programming. It was good working with other people and discussing how it works together, and trying to come like come to an understanding about the code and the you know about the language and the framework and the formatting. Trying to come to an understanding of that together and discussing it with other people. This time around, uh, working in a team, we'd all already had previous experience, so it felt uh, like we all knew what we were doing and uh, we knew what our tasks were. Um, so yeah, I, I felt that this this time around, it, it felt much uh, a much better, a much better experience. I allowed myself to wear the white belt from the beginning, so that means uh, always listening to people who have uh, who have greater knowledge, like for example, our coach Sam. Um, and also allow myself to make mistakes and realizing where I make the mistakes and not being too hard on myself. But the great thing is, is that uh, it has pushed me past uh, what I thought were my previous limitations. Um, I've, I've surpassed that. I've, I feel really good. It's strange to think that in three to four weeks that I, sh you know, I should be good enough to look for a job as a junior developer when, you know, eight weeks ago I barely knew anything. Um, I've definitely progressed a lot. I feel the last couple of weeks I felt like I've progressed less than I have during the other weeks during the start of the course. But I think that is because we, what we've been looking at over the last couple of weeks have been much bigger. I think the extent of my uh, my coding skills before the co course started was I knew some you know I knew some really basic Ruby just from research for getting onto the course, and I'd done a bit of HTML and CSS before. To go from that to being able to you know build a full web application from nothing is incredible and I still feel like I could do that. Like I, I, I mean I know I could do that, I've done it as part of this course. I feel that I've really given this my all and um, I, I really have noticed a massive change in the way, the way I think and the way I approach problems now. It's kind of exciting to think about where I might be in three or four weeks.